Okay, you've got to solve this. We've got to find out what x equals. I've got x on the right hand side, and it's positive, so I'm going to leave those on there and get rid of that plus 24. So I'm going to take away 24 from that side and take away 24 from the other side, and that will say that 113 equals just two x's because that's got rid of the 24. I don't want two x's, I want to therefore just have one. So I'm going to have to divide this side by two, and divide this side by two, and that will give me that x equals 56.5 so x equals 56.5 some people don't like doing it that way some people actually like writing it around 2x plus 24 equals 137 there's no reason why you can't do it like that and then you do exactly the same thing take away 24 from that side take away 24 from that side etc same as here um, this one I've got to get again to undo things. If I knew what x was, I first I would divide by 4 and then I'd add 9. So I'm going to do it in the opposite order. I'm going to get rid of the 9 to start off with. So I'm going to take away 9 from both sides. And that will vaporize the plus 9 and leave me with x divided by 4 equals 6 take away 9 is negative 3. And then I need to do the opposite of divide by 4 and then times both sides by 4. And then that will give me, or uh, vaporize to divide by 4, which is going to be x equals negative 12. Now, if you feel a bit unhappy with a negative sign, just try it. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 9 does equal 6. But you've got a calculator, you can always check it on that. But that is the answer, and that's question 15 done.